Hi there, I'm Felicia with Compass Land USA, your go-to resource for great deals on rural and vacant land. I'm gonna share with you today a large residential lot in Arizona. So if you have any questions about this property, leave a comment below and I'll reply with your answer and help you out. So you can see this property on my website, compasslandusa.com with the title, 1.5 acres with power and paved road in Rimrock, Yavapai County, Arizona. I'm also gonna put that link in the description of this video for you, so you can easily find it there. So let's go through, so coming onto the website here, you can see these are pictures of the actual property. So let's click to go through. Okay, so we have pictures of the actual property here. You can see it's in a pretty cool spot. There's a lot of characteristics, or there's a lot of character to this area. There's hills. You have a great little vantage point and this property is large it's 1.5 acres so that's tons of room for you to put a nice sizable house like what you see the neighbors have done plus maybe even if you wanted to do like a little workshop or a tool shed or like a little hobby barn that's cool too you have tons of spot for that on your 1.5 acre property there's also power lines you can see them running through uh, the images here and there is great road access. So if you keep scrolling through the images, you'll come across these guys. So this is right from the county resources. Um, it shows you the outline of the property. That's again, so you can see they also have gray shadows. Those are all the lots nearby that have houses on them. So you can see this area is really getting developed and built up quickly. This is a little polygon image we have for you just to kind of give you a better, maybe more of a 3D feel for the property shape and boundaries. The elevation here is approximately 3,400 feet. And that's the back end. Okay, so now just a little bit about the area, um, this Lake Montezuma Rimrock area that's kind of one area meshed together. Property uses here, obviously the best one is a house. So if you're one of the thousands of people moving from California to this area of Arizona, this is a great option for you. You can have an RV while you're building. Um, so if you really wanna get out of where you're at quickly, that's a great option as well. Something good to know. This area is really great for development as well um, or for a long-term investment. So that Lake Montezuma Rimrock area, it's gonna have all of your basic amenities, gas station, grocery store, Dollar General, post office. There's a couple churches as well. You could see a steeple in the background. Um, there's local restaurants. And this is, there's two really cool things about this area. Montezuma Castle is an ancient site, really cool to check out as well as Lake Montezuma for which the area was named. Great to get the kids out, the dog, take a nice long walk, enjoy nature, enjoy those sunny days. Enjoy the 272 sunny days that you can expect each year actually, with um, every year 14 inches of rain and only two inches of snow. And in the chart below there, we have kind of the highs and lows for the county. So our area that we're looking at is that yellow circle on the right-hand side of the screen. The population, Lake Montezuma Rimrock is 3,300. Um, Cottonwood is gonna be your closest city, 17.7 miles northwest. If you go northeast, you'll hit Sedona, and that's 23.6 miles away. And then if you kind of meander down southwest, you're only 49.6 miles from Prescott, so it's not a far drive at all. You could easily work in, in Prescott and drive out to this area to live. Um, Prescott Valley as well is even closer and they both have populations around 44 to 48,000. Zooming farther out from our yellow circle to Flagstaff, you're looking at 52.1 miles. Uh, Flagstaff has a population of around 139,000 going west to Kingman, Arizona, it's 196 miles. And going south, slight southwest 
to the Phoenix area. That's 99.6 miles to Phoenix. And the population there is 1.6 million. So Cottonwood's gonna be your closest city. It's, they've got a really cool old town main strip for you to check out. Lots of uh, restaurants, bars, antique shops, quirky little shops, stuff like that. It's also kind of in the heart of the Verde Valley wine country. So that main uh, old town strip has a couple wineries that we have pointed out on the right hand side of the screen there. Cottonwood's gonna have all of your big box retailers, Walmart, Home Depot, Safeway. There's also a big five sporting goods. Tons of restaurants, like almost all the fast food chains. You can see Carl's Jr. Um, we have some other ones listed there. McDonald's, Sonic, Dairy Queen, Taco Bell, Subway. There's also some great local restaurants. Pizzeria Bache, Adriana's Mexican Food, and the Tavern Grill, which is actually on the Old Town Strip. Some popular things to do in this area, kind of unique to this spot, include the Verde Canyon Railroad, Dead Horse Ranch State Park, uh, wine tours of Sedona and Red Rock, which I believe they offer by horseback as well, which could be really fun, and the Verde River Greenway. Nearby national state parks or new parks and forests, this area is just so lucky to be kind of right in the middle of so many outdoor options. Like the, it really, it's endless. Your closest ones are Red Rock State Park, that's 28 miles away. Coconino National Forest is only 41.4 miles away. Then zooming farther out, you have Prescott National Forest, that's 60 miles from our yellow dot. And Tonto National Forest is 82 miles away. So Red Rock is gonna be your closest one. It's 286 acre nature preserve. It's beautiful. My top choice for activities here would definitely be mountain biking. That looks fantastic for that. You can also just walk around, do some wildlife viewing, check out these little javelinas. Hiking is cool too, as well as horseback riding. Coconino National Forest is massive. Uh, it's over 1.8 million acres of diverse landscape. Its highest point is Humphreys Peak. That's 12,600 feet up. Some popular activities here include hiking, and that's Mogollon Rim we have pictured, camping and backcountry, scenic drives, off-roading, and horseback riding. So some popular trailheads in Coconino, uh, make sure you check all trails before you head out, by the way, because all trails will tell you how difficult these guys are and how long they should take you so you can plan appropriately. So we have Devil's Bridge Trail, uh, Red Rock Trail, which is kind of where my head is, Tramway Trail and Kinder Crossing. So there's no hunting allowed directly on this property, but you have easy nearby access hundreds of thousands of acres of public lands. This area kind of straddles two units. The first one we show on the left is unit 21, and that's in region five. And then on the right, you see unit 6A, and that's in region two. So those are kind of your two closest units, 6B and 21. Some of the species you can expect to find here include elk, mule deer, uh, bighorn, and javelina. So back to the listing, under the pictures, county pictures, you'll see a property video. Photographer did that for us. Um, it just kind of gives you a feel of the property that pictures can't really provide. It's really quick, 30 seconds a minute. So make sure you check that out. We also have a map with the exact property location. Now my team here works really hard to make it safe and simple for you to buy land. We typically only have one of each unique property in our inventory and we do sell them all on a first come first serve basis. Um, and more importantly, each of our properties has a 90 day money back guarantee. You can read about that here on our website and they all come with a free and clear title. So you can see the discounted cash price of the property is 31,799. And then we have three owner financing plans for you to choose from and they vary in down payments as well as monthly and length. We try to make it um, as easy as possible for a variety of budgets and people to get their dream property. 
Um, and one of the ways we do that is with owner financing. We also do not do credit checks, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so if you love the look of this property, you want to make it yours, you can do that securely and easily on our website using one of these green checkout buttons. So let's say you wanted to finance this property. So this is what your secure checkout page will look like. They are all formatted the same for us. So we have the county and then we have the parcel number. And this one we chose financing, so it would say doc fee. If you chose cash or the discounted cash price, this would say cash. So you come in here and you submit your contact information. And then at the bottom, you submit a debit or credit card of your choosing and hit complete order to submit the 249 documentation fee for owner financing. And that's it. So once you do that, you'll receive an email from us saying, hey, we got your payment and we'll reach out to you within 24 hours to align with you on which owner financing plan you want and what the next steps are for your new property. So under the price, you'll see some important property details. We have the address, parcel number, some county numbers for you, um, the size, legal, zoning. There is power. Um, we do have paved road access. Water would be by well, septic would be, septic can be installed annual property taxes. So we try to be as transparent as possible. There's no HOA for this property. If you have any questions about this property while you're on the website, you can call us at this number here. Um, you can click to call. My partner, Andrew, works the phones. He'll be happy to answer any owner financing questions or property detail questions that you might have, or if you just wanna learn a little more about how this process works. While you're on the website, you can also leave your email address in one of these form boxes to get access to off-market land deals. So once you leave your email here, once a week, we email out off-market land deals for our properties. They're just for the people on our VIP email list. So if you wanna save some money on your next land purchase, make sure you do that. If you want to learn a little bit more about who we are, you can check out the testimonial section of our website over here to see what other people have had to say in their own words of what it was like to work with us at Compass Land USA. If you have any questions about this property, leave a comment below and I'll reply with your answer and help you out. I'm happy to do that. If you made it this far, please leave this video a thumbs up. Um, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.